How do I list files in a recursive manner? Now we're going to be starting from an example that was already created in the How do I list files video. Okay, So for those of you that are looking at this right now, and if you have not seen that other video and you're wondering exactly what we've got on the screen, you may want to watch that other video first. Now so far, Logan has put together a temporary application to demonstrate listing files in a folder. But this application does not take into account folders that may reside in that folder. And of course, subfolders under that, so on and so forth. So in this video, he is going to show you how we can walk down through a folder structure using recursion to pull out all of the file names. All right, let me first uh, give an example of where this might be useful. If I go back to the folder I had used for the previous example, that mosaic folder, where we had a handful of files, you'll note that there aren't even any further folders. What if we had a scenario that is more like this folder, where there are both files, and then an additional directory, and then more files in that directory? How do we set up an application that will properly walk the directory structure, giving all files in a recursive manner? I'm going to start with the application that is already listing files in a non-recursive manner because we're actually going to reuse most of this code. As a matter of fact, the key thing that we're going to do to make this recursive is make sure that the list files method also handles directories and then calls itself for each directory that it finds. Basically, the list files process will begin over again for every single that is the, uh, directory that is found. To do this, I'm going to leave in the current block of code that shows the file name because we still wish to have the file name shown. I'm just going to drop down a few lines, and now we'll make a new array. And this array, instead of being a list of files, is going to be a list of the directories contained within this directory. So what I'm going to do is make a directory info array, and then I'll call that uh, directories. And we'll gather the directories by running the current directory parameter dot get directories and that will give us a list of the directories held within this directory then I'll make a for loop just as we had done for files and then we'll loop through all uh, directories now for each directory we're simply going to recall this entire method so we'll run list files but for the current directory so that would be directories sub i and one other thing I'm going to do is show the full file path of every file that we find so that way we can tell which directory it comes from. So I'm going to go back up to the previous loop and run or instead look at full name instead of just name which is what to string was giving us. So now with this in place of course if we run we're still inside the one folder that has no subfolders so let me actually just change this to be the level above. Just look at the entire Python projects folder. So you can see that we first went into backups and then for backups, we had a subfolder of Pong. Then we went back out, went to Mosaic, and then listed all the files we were before. But the key here is we are now listing in a recursive manner, meaning that the application will walk through all directories that exist below the directory that is initially given to it. So that will wrap up this video.